Hey guys, Joe from American Trucks. In this video, we're going over the Roush single exhaust system with black tips and a side exit, fitting all 15 and newer 2.7 liter EcoBoost F-150s. Now, this is gonna be a great option for you if you're looking for a high quality stainless steel single exhaust system that's gonna feature blackout looks, moderate volume, and minimal drone. So as you guys just heard, let's talk about the sound a little bit. Now this is definitely gonna be a huge step up from stock if you're used to not really hearing your exhaust. This is definitely gonna open things up a little bit and allow you to hear that in the cab. Now historically, Roush always puts out a really loud system. With this same kit on the 5.0, I'd give it a strong four out of five. Being the 2.7 EcoBoost though, turbos tend to muffle that exhaust note a little bit. So in this case, on this truck with this motor, I'm gonna give this kit a strong three out of five on our Wake the Neighbor scale. Now that is gonna come with a little bit of on-throttle mid-range drone. However, when you're just cruising around, this is definitely a livable system. If you're the enthusiast, you're looking to hear that 2.7 EcoBoost, this is gonna be a great option option for you. Now diving into this kit, let's figure out what exactly is going to be making that noise. And the majority of this kit is going to be three inch mandrel bent 304 grade stainless steel tubing. Now there are a few things going on there. Let's break them down one by one. Mandrel bends. What that means is basically throughout the length of any bends on this system, the walls of the tubing are going to be nice and smooth. That inside edge isn't going to crumple up and mandrel bends, they're exactly what you want. Nice smooth walls of the tubing that's going to allow your exhaust gases to escape as fast as possible and that's basically what any good exhaust is going to give you. Next up, let's talk about that 304 grade stainless steel. Now that is gonna be a huge step up from the factory 409. If you're used to seeing any heat discoloration or any surface rust, this is basically gonna be the best stainless steel you'll see on an exhaust system on basically any car. So that is going to be well worth the money if you're looking to have your truck for a really long time. This kit is going to be looking good and sounding good for years to come. Now in the middle, we do have Roush's straight through muffler. That's where most of our sound is gonna be coming from. And we're gonna get that side by side next to the factory muffler in just a second and show you just how much heft we're cutting out when it comes to the difference between those two mufflers. And we're also completely losing any resonators on this kit. So again, those two in combination, that's where most of our sound profile is gonna be built. Now at the back here, this is more of a looks thing, but in my opinion, it fits this triple black 2019 perfectly. We have dual four inch angle cut rolled edge tips. They're finished in a flat black. And again, they just look so perfect on this truck. They're gonna exit right here in the factory location. And right on top, we do have two embossed Roush logos, which is a nice little touch. Now, if you're not a fan of the blackout look, Roush, of course, they got you covered. The same exact kit is available with two polished tips instead if you're going for the chrome look. And in fact, that way is actually a little bit more budget friendly as well. Not much, but it definitely is a difference. In my opinion, blackout is the way to go. I'm a huge fan, worth the extra money every time, fits this truck perfectly. And in fact, the black tips, they're exclusive to American trucks. There's only one place you can get them, and that's right here at AT. So next up, let's talk a little bit about pricing. Now, this one is gonna be up there, especially considering that this is a single exhaust system. It's not a dual exit. You're using less material. You'd expect the price to be a little bit lower. This one is gonna fall right around that $1,000 mark, which again, it's toward the expensive side, not the most expensive. However, definitely not the most budget friendly we have on the site. There are a couple reasons for that. Again, that 304 grade stainless steel is basically as nice as you can get. And Roush is a great brand with a bunch of pedigree. And it also includes a three year limited warranty. So moving right along to the good stuff, let me show you how to get this thing installed on your F-150. It's gonna be really, really easy. I'm gonna give it an easy two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Should take at most an hour or two if you come with the right tools. Before we dive into it, one thing I do wanna make a quick note on is out of the box, this is gonna be the length for a long wheelbase truck. So that's gonna be your super cab with the eight foot bed. If you have anything shorter like us, you are gonna have to have a saw ready to make some cuts. But without any further ado, let me show you what tools you'll need and how it's done. The tools I use for this install will include a couple of impacts, pry bar, breaker bar, dead blow, U-joint, 24, 21, 15, and 13 millimeter sockets. And if you do have a shorter wheelbase, you'll need to make a cut. Obviously for that, you'll need the marker, tape measure, safety glasses, and not pictured here will be the saw. Last but not least, some spray lubricant or rust penetrant like PB Blaster will help you get things moving a lot easier. 
All right, so underneath of our EcoBoost, removing this exhaust is gonna be pretty easy. There's one flex pipe in the middle that we're gonna have to fight. We're gonna show you how that works in just a second here. There's really only two pieces of hardware that hold this thing together. They're gonna be two 13 millimeter bolts on this flange up here, right above this cross member. I got the impact, a U-joint, and a 13 millimeter socket to get in there, and we can get those out of the way. So now that we have that inlet pipe sort of sitting on that crossbar, the only thing holding up the rest of our exhaust is gonna be some rubber hangers. You can see two of them right here. Now, they're all facing the same direction, so in our case, we're gonna take the pry bar and push this back. That'll drop the whole thing down, and then we can get it off the truck in one big piece. Sometimes these hangers can get bound up. If that's the case for you, take a 10 millimeter socket, they pop right off. Same thing goes with the one at the back as well. Now, this flex pipe right here, this is gonna be a little bit unwieldy, so you wanna make sure this is supported as we pry back, where this thing's gonna swing down and hit you in the knee. It's happened to me plenty of times, trust me. Make sure you have a pole jack under that, something, otherwise it's gonna hit you. Also, if you're working on the ground, just be aware that you might need to make some cuts in order to drop this exhaust out. So now that we have our factory exhaust removed off our 2.7 Eco, now's the perfect time to take your Roush exhaust, lay it out on the ground, start to build this kit up and get an idea for how things are gonna fit together. At this point, before we start to go and hang things up on our truck, now's the perfect time with these two kits right next to each other to point out some similarities and differences between both of these kits. Now, a big one and one I wanna talk about first here, it's gonna be stainless steel quality. Our factory over there, that's gonna be a mid-grade 409 stainless steel. That's exactly what you expect. 409 basically rolls off the factory floor on every truck as far as the exhaust go. However, our new Roush kit is gonna take that to the next level. We have a really high grade 304 stainless steel pretty much throughout the length of this entire kit. Over there on the factory exhaust, up the inlet pipe, you see a little bit of heat discoloration. That's not gonna happen on 304 grade stainless steel, and it's gonna hold up to any corrosion a little bit better than that mid-grade 409 would. So all around, a big upgrade. You're not gonna see it too often, but there's peace of mind there. This kit is gonna be looking good and sounding good for years to come, like I said earlier. Now, let's dive into each of these kits. We're gonna start up there at the flange and work our way back to the tips and go through all the differences. First one I wanna talk about is gonna be that inlet pipe diameter. We're going from two and a half inches out of the factory to three inches with our new Roush kit. We're also completely losing the resonator on there as well as the flex pipe. All three in combination, that's all gonna be good for exhaust flow. Now, big difference is gonna be right in the middle here, our muffler. Over there on the factory, you can see just how big, restrictive and bulky and frankly heavy as well that factory muffler is. We're ditching a lot of that extra heft here for the Roush muffler. This is gonna be straight through and this is where a lot of our sound is gonna be coming from. At the back of that muffler, we have the same diameter piping, three inches. Things are really gonna change when we get to those exhaust tips though. Our new Roush kit has dual four inch slash cut tips. They're embossed with the Roush logo and they have that awesome flat black finish, which in my opinion, huge upgrade over the three and a half inch single polish tip you get out of the factory. So that's pretty much gonna do it as far as differences between these two exhausts go. Before you go hang anything up, you can see that our inlet pipe is gonna be a little bit long. That's because out of the box, this Roush kit is gonna be tuned for the longest wheelbase truck. That's gonna be the super cab with the eight foot bed. If you have one of those, you don't need to make any cuts at all. However, if you have anything else, which I'm guessing most of you guys do, you will have to break out the saw and trim up that inlet pipe a little bit. Now we do have a helpful chart posted on our website in the instruction section, breaking down the different lengths that that inlet pipe should be for each wheelbase, but I'm gonna run you through it right now just to make sure you guys definitely have it. So, starting with the shortest wheelbase, that's gonna be your regular cab six and a half foot truck. If that's you, you're gonna trim that inlet pipe to 19.6 inches. If you have a regular cab with the eight foot bed, your trim is gonna be to 38.3 inches. Now this one is gonna be the most popular, I'm guessing. If you have the super cab with the six and a half foot bed, 
or the Super Crew with the five and a half foot bed, which is what we're working on today, you're gonna trim that inlet pipe to 42.2 inches. If you have the Super Crew with the larger bed, six and a half foot bed, you're gonna trim that to 54 inches. And again, if you have the Super Cab with the eight foot bed, there's gonna be no cut whatsoever. So in our case, we're gonna grab that big inlet pipe, we're gonna take that flange off the end, make sure you cut on that side, not the one with the hanger. We're gonna mark this, and we're gonna trim it, in our case, to 42.2 inches. All right, so over by the saw, you can see our tape measure, we're cutting to 42.2 inches. Now that's really 13 64ths, but in our case, it's right past that 3 16ths line. So we're gonna go right here, keep it nice and straight. 4, 8, 12, 13. Right there. So now we can go ahead and start to build this thing up. We're gonna take this little flange pipe here first and the factory 13 millimeter bolts. That's gonna go right on in the factory spot and there are some nuts in here. These are just gonna thread right into those. Now, I'm gonna keep that bad boy finger tight for now. That's gonna give us a little bit of side to side. If we need some adjustment later on, that's gonna come in handy. And at the end, we can come back and tighten everything down. So at the back of that flange pipe, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and throw up a hanger and push that out of the way. Our inlet pipe is gonna come next, but what I'm gonna do is start the hanger first. Push that all the way to the back and then get that started in our flange pipe. And a little bit of tappy tap. Now at the back of our inlet pipe, we're going to grab our muffler, throw another large clamp around there and get that started on the back of that. And just to clean up the looks, see that seam there? I'm gonna put that up at the top. Now our over axle pipe, gonna be the same process. Gonna put that bad boy over our axle, or one. Throw a clamp on there first, just like the muffler. On the back of our muffler, and then we're just gonna push up. Try to get all three of these lined up, both hangers and the muffler. So here is where we're at with our exhaust install. This is our over axle pipe. Next thing I have in my hand here, this is where things get a little bit, well, not really tricky, but it's just different from other exhaust kits out there. This is a hanger. It's gonna go right above our tips, right about there. It's gotta sit under this leaf spring bolt. So we're gonna loosen that up just a little bit. Don't remove it. You can see this is slotted. And then we can push this underneath there and then snug it up once we're back on the ground. Now, as we loosen this up, this is going to want to jump, so just stay clear of the leaf spring. It's not going to kill you. It's just going to slide a little bit, so just be wary of that. And that is going to work just fine. So here's the pipe for our tips. You can see our hangers on that hanger right there. We have another clamp here. That's gonna go around like so. Fold that guy up. And underneath that leaf spring bolt, and we can go ahead and push that into place. Now we're gonna wait on that leaf spring bolt until we're back on the ground. That way our suspension flexes back to where it would be normally sitting right now. We're gonna align things as best we can. We can slide on both of our tips. And again, these are both gonna get a clamp. They're gonna get the smaller ones included in the kit. And at this point, we can start to line everything up and then we can tighten everything back down. Again, waiting on that leaf spring bolt.
we're gonna have to step off the 15 millimeter socket for a second, go back to the 13 on the U-joint, and tighten down our flange. Now guys, that is gonna do it for me. It's also gonna do it for the Roush single exhaust system with black tips and a side exit, fitting all 15 and newer 2.7 liter EcoBoost F-150s. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you keep it right here at American Trucks for all things F-150.